Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can transfer data from the internal storage to the microSD card at the Redmi Note 13. For that you don't need to download an extra app for because there's already a pre-installed file explorer where you can find it here at the Google folder. Check out for the Google folder, tap on it and here we have the app named files. Okay. First of all, we have to give a permission if, we, if you're using it for the very first time. So for that, just go and continue. And then allow access to manage all files like this. Okay, now we are in it. And uh, yeah, here on top, uh, there are categories. So all your files are organized in categories like downloads, images, audios, videos, and so on. But we will need the lower part here, the internal storage. So check out for the internal storage and tap on it. And here we have all the folders which one contains data you are able to transfer. Okay, I recommend to you to start now with the photos and videos you have done with your camera because this kind of data is taking a lot of storage. So you will find them here at the DCIM folder. Check out then the camera folder after. Okay, and here they are, all your photos and videos you have done with your camera. I guess in your case much more than me. <laughs> okay. And then now check one of your files you want to transfer and long press it so that it's marked. Now, now you can mark also other ones or if it's too many, then go on the three points and you can select them all here on top. Well, then they're all selected. Okay, now you have two opportunities. You can copy them for the safety or you can transfer them completely to have more space on your internal storage. Okay, there's something else here. Okay, if you want to transfer them, just tap here on the three points. Then you can copy them, no? copy two, or move them. No? If you move it, you have more space on your internal storage, as I've said. Go and move two. Now you can choose where you want to have it, of course, to the SD card. So and I have already have folders on my SD card. And I really recommend to you to create folders because it's much better for the overview. No? Don't mix up your files like documents next to music and so on. No? And uh, for that, you can here add new folders. No? Do that is much better. I've created already a DCIM folder. You can give it also another name like photos or something like this. No? So I've created a folder named DCIM. Just tap on it. I have also camera folder here. So if you are in the folder you want to have your data in, just go here then after below on move here. And then the phone is transferring all the photos and videos you have selected before to that folder. Pretty nice. Okay, he's done. Let me go back here so that I'm back in the internal storage because I want to show you something more because the same thing we have done with files, you can do it also with folders. If I go here on the three points at the end of DCIM or copy also another folder, then I have directly the chance to copy or to move the complete folder. Huh? Not only the files, you can also move complete folders. Pretty nice. Well, <laughs> let me show you something else. Uh, for that, let's go to the camera. Okay, and if you're on a camera, just tap on the arrow here on top. Go then here on the setting symbol. And if you scroll down a bit, you will find almost at the end a point named save to SD card. And that means all your future photos and videos you're doing with your camera going directly to the SD card and you'll save a lot of time because you don't have to transfer them all the time. Pretty nice. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. You can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support and yeah, maybe until next time. Mm -hmm. Ciao.